on everyone not a live stream but it's going to be a video just something to tide you guys over i really thought we were gonna have rain this weekend and we didn't so the seeding has just continued on so that's kind of why i said silage soon because i thought i'd get to do a live stream on the weekend but it didn't happen but that's okay uh we got a couple more days of seeding and then we're done uh then i eventually have to do uh some rolling but rolling is you know 10 miles an hour it takes two or three days to do all of our fields so it's not as slow as seeding and filling and all that stuff so so i'm gonna bring you here a little video t tonight i got home a little earlier i'm just gonna do a recording it's obviously too late to stream or i'd be streaming but uh, i'm just gonna record this for you guys uh, we'll get the little music going. And yeah, so I found this on a site somewhere. You, you guys have heard of the new Fent 900 series coming out. Well, this is the puppy right here. So if you look at the front grill and the lights, it's just like the 1000 series Fent, but this is a 900 series Fent. So this is. Uh, some Europeans had already brought it out for Farm Sim 19, so I grabbed it when I found it, and, uh, I still need to do some American touches to it along with, uh, the older, uh, Fit 900 series that I'm doing, so basically, or, I shouldn't say that I'm doing, that a few other people have done, I'm just gonna take some pieces and put them on these, so. So we got this, uh, we're bringing it, we're just demoing it. Uh, I'm gonna use it for doing silage. I was using a thousand series, but I figured uh, we might as well demo this tractor out. It's just a lease, so we won't be keeping it, but we'll use it for some silage. You guys can watch that. And, uh. Not sure how long this video will be, maybe an hour? Not not 100% sure, but, uh. Thought I'd just give you guys something, because I know you're kind of missing out. I am recording this Saturday night though. You're probably not gonna see this till Monday. Um, if you're members on the channel, you'll probably see it Sunday because they get to see everything a day before, generally. And uh, of course I'm doing a restream tomorrow. It's gonna be of this exact map that I've been playing on. So you guys have seen those current streams, but I'm just gonna replay them. I me, mean, it's kind of my favorite stuff. So we'll be doing a replay of that. For you guys to catch in your trailer dollars, and just because I said I would do it last uh, last week when I did the other one, so so we'll get this haul back, and uh, then we can get into doing some silage. Still can't get course play to work. I've got way too many mods in here. Something's still conflicting with it. Uh, I went through a bunch of them. I uh, still haven't found the right one, so I'm just not going to use course play for the moment. My fault was is I had it at the beginning, and then I just kept adding mods. And There's still some custom types in there somewhere that's giving me grief. I just need to find them and then give them a parent node and then I can use them, but I'm just not sure which ones and I don't want to go through all of them. And so we'll just have to bear without chorus play for a little bit. Maybe I can figure it out one day and we can get chorus play on here for single player, but it would be handy to get more stuff, but between workers and stuff, I think we can manage it for now. You know, harvest is going to be a little crappy without having course play, but we'll just have to do end rows and then uh, get hired workers going back and forth on combines and stuff. It's kind of what I think is going to be happening. So our cattle here, we're getting quite a bit of manure. Uh, definitely not ready to haul the manure out yet. Probably something we'll do once the harvest is off so we have some crops to put it on. But that is the plan anyway that's kind of what I'm planning and I'm planning on filling another one of these pens I think
Actually pretty cool. Quite like uh, the new bonnet on the 900s. Quite nice. I did realize I picked a John Deere monitor in this thing. I'm going to have to get rid of that. But... Give her a thousand series a break here. As you can see, it's kind of got the same. It's of course a little bit different, but. Let me get a good thumbnail here for our video for you guys. Gotta slow this down first. Didn't work. I want to get in and straighten these tires out a bit. That looks good about right there. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. That's the thumbnail you guys will be seeing. <laughs> so I spruce it up a little bit. Ah, this this does look tiny on here, but hey, we're all right. I believe I was just using Follow Me mod as well, so. I wonder if we can make this turn, can we? No. Oh. Just barely. I had this guy. We gotta get him butted. We gotta get him butted up right against this guy here. It pushes the harvester a little bit, but this is what I was finding was working the best for me. Once we get this outside round, then we'll get him following beside, and it should be good. So we'll get them following 10 and we want try that. He wants to go on that side. Right offset. Alright, so we need to do that the other way. My bad. Oh, we have left offset. Why does it say right? Alright, well, I'll do this way. Uh, we'll try that.
weird how it needs it specified. Alright, we need them wider than that. We need them like... Seven, and there. That's better. See, right offset in there, but then when I look at it from this standpoint, it's left offset. Okay, so your right offset is always your object, like your forage harvester. I gotcha. Just got a little confused there, though. This little field won't take long. We do have... I know we have more corn somewhere. More of the John Deere guys we might have to go silage their field. I think this is the only cornfield we have for these guys. And I need... I don't think I need a lot. I'm not 100% sure how much I need to fill that pit, but... I want to make sure my pit's full. this will be good then we don't have to go buy silage anymore and then once we get bales we shouldn't have to buy any product from town which is kind of the main goal of putting up our own feed Should be full pretty soon anyway. New Holland actually isn't that bad to be honest. A little bit of tint on the window, never hurt anyone. Alright, guys full. We'll get this dumped, then we can pack some more. Well, I guess we do have another 900 back here. You know, I can compare if you guys don't know the difference. See that bonnet style to this style. This is a see-through one though. I need that see-through mesh on here. Funny, I thought these were done by the same guy. They didn't do the see-through mesh. Yeah, quite a bit different bonnet style for sure. But I, I, I like the I like the new style. Classy. Now we gotta get one on our real life farm. <laughs> Told Dad that I was like, yeah, they got a new style. He's like, well, we we need it. It's like, oh god, we don't need it, but. Hopefully I can live stream for you guys soon. I miss live streaming because it kind of sucks talking to myself. But I do need to change this blade a bit. I have it in too close. I adjusted it a bunch, but as you can see, I have it too close still. So I just didn't feel like doing that tonight. So I won't worry about that. Other than that, I think I got it on there pretty good. And that step's in the way, but I should go see if that's separate. If that's not separate, then I'll just leave it. But. I don't really feel like separating the whole thing either to get that step off. But if it happened to be separate already, it'd be pretty simple, but I just have not checked that. Minor. Minor stuff. Don't need to look at that. Right, guys? Exactly.
not a like really big big silage pit so it, it, you know I'm thinking it I don't remember how much it actually holds to be honest We got 149,000 in here. I should just check. I never did check, but. We have this one, so it doesn't say. Let's get some different. For the most part, this blade this blade pushes it out pretty good, so I'm uh, pretty happy with it. This is a pretty. Uh, Pretty chill silage pit anyway, so far. Oh, we're taking too much there. Let's just put it this way, the silage pit's fairly easy to manage. Doesn't look like crap, it's pretty easy just uh, you know. But we do got some spots which are proven difficult in here. What are we at for compacting? 69. We don't got a massive operation anyway, so I think you'll be okay with... I want to get it high enough so my blade goes over the back there. That's kind of the main goal of this. But. Let's see. They're actually nice silage, but it's nice size, not massive. I mean, massive's nice if you want to go big scale, but I couldn't imagine packing that much silage. A lot of work. I know Random's done it, and he's pretty good at it. I still think he'd do a better job than me. I mean, I could do a decent job, but. You know, I have a break right now. He was constantly having to go because he had trucks coming in. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I think I'd need a joystick and I'd do a pretty dope, dope job. I shouldn't say dope job. I don't want to say that. I'd do a pretty good job, I think, if I had a joystick for running the blade and stuff. But something I need to think about in the future. Because I could, it'd make loader work a lot more exciting in the game with a joystick than mouse, but... All right, that's good. Go get some more corn. Ready for some more corn. Exactly. We already got 150,000 in there. I dumped, I guess I have dumped maybe three loads in there. This little bit of corn will be a decent amount, I think, for us, so. I haven't shown you guys my pig food factory at town yet. Pretty much just the scripts are already out there. I just took some in-game buildings, like Giants in-game elevator. I think I'm gonna change that out for something else, but. I just wanted a place where trucks could come dump their, their grain, and they would turn your grain into pig food. So rather than buying pig food at the store, 
<clears throat> you physically have to use some of your harvest grain or your grain from harvest to make the pig food, which is, I like that idea, so. You can't just go to the store and, oh, I'm gonna, you know, everybody's got those fillable bins. Hey, well, I need seed and fertilizer. Well, make it. That's how we're gonna do it here, so. If I don't keep enough grain on hand to make my own seed, then we just won't be able to plant fields, so I have to manage for that. Um, I am looking at doing some sort of a seed treatment system. Would be pretty simple. All I'd have to do is I'm not sure what I'd get for a seed treater since I can't model anything. Uh, maybe I'd get somebody to model something up for me. I just need something that you could basically put by an auger and the auger would unload out of the bin into the seed treater and then the seed treater would, would unload into your, your truck or whatever you were hauling your seed with to the field and it would be like seed in this game's brown, it would make the seed red. It's kind of how I'd go about it. I don't think I'm gonna do like, you know, a separate canola which, which is blue and a separate this and that, because then you'd have to go to your planters and be like, okay, you need to accept this type, this type. Well, I guess you could. You could make canola blue and stuff, but generally you buy canola like that, you don't treat it. The only stuff you treat is wheat and barley usually yourself here anyway, so. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, this seed treatment will be red, so then your seed would be red. And I don't... It would be nice, rather than having to do a plow or something, that seed treatment would give you the extra 10% in the game. I'm not sure how to make it do that, but I could at least make it just for visual purposes. It'd be something cool. Me, seed treatment should be something that should be in the game, but rather than you know periodic plowing, I mean the lime. I guess I do like how they added the lime in for that. But to me, you should have an option like, hey, rather than put down lime, I'm gonna put a seed treatment on my seed. So then, you know, because technically that's what should uh, help your crop at the start. Usually, that's what the whole seed treatment process is. So those early diseases, your crop can fight it before it's even out of the ground. So that's something I still need to work on. All I gotta do is make an extra field type. Pretty pretty simple. But I just need to go about getting a uh, seed treater modeled. I could just use an auger that's already in the game, but I'd kind of like to have a nice... something different. So we'll see what we can come up with or what I can find. If not, then I'll have to see. Uh oh. Stuck. Well, that's not what I wanted, but that will work. Kinda wanted to spread it out so it wasn't all up against the wall there. But the thing I like about this, look at this, comes up. Sits right on top of the wall. God damn, that's a that's a damn good collision. Holding it in this pit, and it's holding it in from the back. That's beautiful. God damn. Now we're gonna have an issue driving up that. So that's kind of why I'm not. No, oh, maybe not. But we need to get it pushed right back to the, the back end of the wall here, so. Or try our best anyway to get it back there. That is the goal, so. Although we're struggling a little bit here. That was better that one time. A little bit at a time, that's all that matters. Ooh, 
might actually be able to fit quite a bit in here. I mean, if we got extra doesn't fit in our pits, we can put it in our silos too. Got a fermenting silo, I just haven't threw it on, thrown, thrown it on here yet. Did come across some other really good buildings. I believe they're on the Giants mod hub, I think. Pretty cool. Show you some show it to you guys here in a second. God, I'm getting tired. It's late here already. I was just trying to do a little bit of a video for you guys to watch, so I gotta give you something. Mind you, we are gonna have a restream tomorrow. You guys won't know that because you won't get this video till Monday, so. Let the viewers watch it tomorrow, the day ahead. If you guys want to watch stuff a day ahead of time, the members for, plus there is other perks. I'm always trying to think of new perks for you guys as well, so. If anybody ever has any ideas, always cool to let me know because I don't mind. Oh, boy, come on. Quite enjoying this uh, Midwest Horizons by Texar and CBJ. I'm definitely enjoying it. It's just, it's kind of nice just have my own little twist, you know. So I got some nice farms built here. I'm actually quite, I'm quite enjoying this map, believe it or not. Definitely being able to place buildings and kind of, I just, I feel like my farm building's been really good lately, so I'm quite enjoying the, you know. I do gotta get rid of those tall lights to feel out though. I want shorter lights than that. I don't like those tall ones. I just couldn't find any placeable floodlights that are shorter. I've seen some, and I seen some the other day. I just need to get them in here. Like I said, I do wanna fill up another pen with cattle. Uh, once harvest is done and we start getting some, uh, I guess we could haul manure before harvest starts. We could just pile, you know. I guess we seeded an entire field, so I'd have to, have to have a spot to put a pile. We could pile stuff before harvest and then spread it after, but let's see, I guess. Because the plan is, is to haul the cattle and let them graze while I clean the pens out. That's kind of the plan. I need a bunch more bales, but we'll get, uh, we'll get more bales with, uh, harvest. So I'm not too worried about bales. I kind of want to go back and forth, but with follow me, like it is doable. I just have to turn one way all the time, so we'll see. I'm not sure if I really want to do that or not, but going round and round seems to be working for us at the moment, so not ideally how they would do it, but how I'm doing it, playing by myself, so I'm all right with it.
surprised how much he can take at the back. Like, this pit can hold a lot. This is what I wanted to do before. Kind of make like a nice little even... That's kind of what I would like to do, if I could keep it nice and neat like that, but it's me we're talking though. Easier said than done, right? <laughs> Alright. I do have a bunch of edits that I want to do, I just need to have some time, and I figured I'd get a video for you guys first. That was a little more important than some of the edits I want to do. We'll get to it all, though. We'll get to it all. Soon I'll be back to having some streams, hopefully here shortly. It's not really leveling out at the top at all. Not really how I was wanting it to, but... That worked a little better there. I think we're really who don't oh, no, we're gonna say there's just too many There's too many like holes we can get stuck on really quite sad He needs to level them out a little bit better Totally operators fault though not doing a good enough job with my blades so That's the only issue though, it's like, well, I did too much. That's the whole joys of packing, I guess, all right? Now, in 19, was there a mod where you could throw, like, tires? I think, or was that 17? I think there was a placeable mod you could throw on. I'll have to see if that's in 19 yet, because then we could, once this got the, the plastic on it, then we could throw the tires or the sandbags or whatever they had there. I mean, I could easily just throw some tires in those sandbags instead and giant switch it up to be more American and Canadian, but... I think I seen a mod like that. I'd have to go look again. So I mean, we're not doing the greatest job, but we're getting it piled up. Decent, almost too much. I said I was gonna show you guys those buildings. I better do that before I forget. I think it's in sheds. Here they are. These are cool. I'm pretty sure they're on the Giants mod hob, but open curve steel shed. Open curve steel shed with windows, so windows on your top roof here. Right over here, yeah. And then you get uh, two door curved steel, so there'd just be two, so there'd be two doors, there wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a drive through, so there wouldn't be doors on the other end. And this one's the same, just with windows, and then this one uh, is four doors, so you can drive right through, no windows, drive right through with windows, so. Pretty cool. Um, you can put bales in these, you can put machinery in them. 
Uh, you could store grain in some of the closed ones here. So lots of possibilities with them. I don't think I need to put one up here, but pretty nice. I mean, I could put one in the middle of the yard, but that just takes my yard space up. I don't know, I need to put something out here, but it's definitely not one of these buildings. I don't really have room on this farm for this. I kind of built everything the way it is here. I don't really want to expand on it right now. I mean, eventually I maybe could, but yeah. Just thought I'd show you guys in case you hadn't seen those yet. If you have, awesome. If you haven't, then there you go. Pretty sure in the Giants motto. Pretty cool buildings, nicely done. I mean, there's some good, good stuff coming out. I am super excited. I mean, this is the best farm simulator's ever been. And I'm just, I'm just loving it. Just loving 19. It's, it's crazy all the stuff that's out. And oh, good. So much like good stuff too. Uh, what's it again? Had to back up, I guess. Makes sense. So you guys have no idea how tired I am. Like it's already midnight here. Got off at ten o'clock. I did some, did some other stuff in the farm before I got home here. But like I am like having a hard time staying awake right now that's how tired I am but trying to get you guys trying to get something out for you guys I've been getting so much seeding footage I've got all this footage and I have no time to edit it either so it's kind of depressing a little bit with that but I have been getting some seeding stuff I haven't I just got my drone all put together the other day and already so we're almost done seeding and I still haven't pulled the drone out, so I'm hoping uh, the next day here I'll be flying the drone. So, looking forward to it, to getting you. I'm not gonna get a ton of footage. I might get a, I might get my dad just to drive the seeder for 10, 15 minutes for me and then me fly the drone and get some footage. That's probably what I'll do. But we'll see, I guess. Because the fields we're in, that's the only thing is I could get it to follow me, but when it lands, it doesn't usually land on its pad. And mine, I need it to land on the pad because the Maverick Pro, its propellers are really low to the ground. And if it hit like any stubble or dirt in a field, it could do damage to it. So they recommend it not to land unless you're landing on your pad. So if I had it to follow me, that's fine, but then it would be landing in the field. And if I some people have like the DJI Phantoms where they have like that landing gear. That's fine for those, but mine, not so much. I, you know, it was, it was a pretty costly investment. So I mean, I don't want to be wrecking stuff. I want to do stuff properly. Yeah. I guess we should get a save in here. The only thing is, I need to try the new updated Midwest and then uh, update with the corn textures and soybean textures from NFG modding. I like to put all that together, get the 30 inch row spacing and you know the proper row spacing for corn and soybeans. But I just don't want to leave these farm setups because then I'd have to rebuild them. I mean I need to go and see if I can transfer. I, can, I know I can transfer all the items to all the buildings. I'd probably have to re-landscape which I'm, I'm okay with doing the re-landscaping. But all these items have coordinates within the game, so if I transfer the items over, the career safe game over, most of this stuff should come over, I would think. Because these are all placeables, it's not built into the map, right? So, um, you can transfer all your placeables to a new save. But, you know, it might not work on the new save, so that's the only, that's why I keep playing this, because I like my setup here, and I'd have to rebuild it all, and I don't, don't really feel like doing that. 
Uh, maybe we'll get a different series going on the new updated map. Some different equipment, some different farmers rather. So I'll go back to this one for this farm and then I'll, we'll see. It'd be nice to play on the updated one, but I just can't bring myself to do it with all the time I've spent building the stuff here, so. Probably would just take me a couple hours, honestly, of building and tinkering around to get something like this again, so. I think I gotta be careful I don't get stuck. Come on. There you go. As I was saying, I gotta be careful and don't get stuck, and then I got stuck. <laughs> That's actually kind of hard to make this look good. That's a little bit better. We're still getting the lip in there, but we will back in there. My uncle used to do this pack inside. You use your blade quite a bit, but uh, then you kind of go forward and reverse, and you know he'd turn up on top of the pile if it was wide enough. He'd turn around on it, and, and I definitely can't do that on this pit, but that's a okay. Don't need to, so. This is kind of a good shot. I like it. One more to load, I think, guys, and then that, I don't know what else I could do, really. I don't really have anything else to do other than get the silage off. I've got crop growth off, so we can get the silage off while it's green, because obviously that's when you normally would silage it. We're doing that. And then we can speed up the crops again and get the rest. Of the, some of the crops are ready, some aren't. Obviously, the canola there is not ready yet. Just kind of doing farm jobs. I still have yet to build the hog barn stuff on the John Deere farm, but I'm waiting till harvest is over and then I can expand that yard because that yard's going to get a huge makeover. Like their their yard's going to get expanded a fair bit because they need they need an upgraded yard. This red farm over here has got the yard. I believe this New Holland's leased, so this New Holland will be going back when I'm done with it. And this fence, just we're just we're just demoing the 
the new 900 series. So I'll be going back as well. Maybe buy one in the future once I get some stuff upgraded on it. But for the moment, we won't be uh, buying it. Using it right now is handy, though. Be a good manure hauling tractor for sure. Planning on filling all the bins up on this farm too, so. And I did mention that John Deere Farm had bought quite a bit more land, so they have they have a lot more stuff. I think a lot of it's harvestable too, so they'll have a lot more combining acres. I think their farm's actually bigger than the red farm now. In land. I'd have to check again, but I'd have to go compare all the sizes and Texar's uh a PDF that he sent or that's out there I'd have to check that just to see the sizes because I think the John Deere farm is almost bigger now not farm size yet like building wise but they will be but I think definitely land wise for sure And the pigs too, the, make, the pigs should make them some good money, so I'm excited for that, put some pig barns down, and I was going to do a dairy, but I decided, you know, I'd be do some pigs for now. Uh, maybe the next farm that gets added will be a dairy or something, but I think the next farm is going to be New Holland as well, so we got quite a bit of New Holland mods, uh, so I thought we'd start repping uh, a New Holland farm. I mean, we can't just have a regular farm that uses any tractor, but I'm trying to keep, you know... It's tough, really, I guess. This farm's kind of red, plus, you know, agco, so they got fence, black fence, but... This is going to be the last corn I'm going to do before I quit this little recording for you guys. I do need to go to bed. I am awfully tired. so I'm just falling asleep here doing this, so I clearly need more sleep yet. I just haven't got enough lately. The seeding is just... We haven't... We started seeding and we haven't had a break since we started. Normally you'll get a little bit of rain in between that slows you down, but no. We started May 7th, then it was well, now May 19th, so. 12 days we've been going. That's not too bad, actually. So it'll be just under two weeks. Pretty good. Now, generally, like I said, we get a rain break, so it usually takes us three weeks, because we've had some pretty big um, rain breaks before where it rains for like, you know, four or five days. And you can't get in the field for a while, but like I said, we haven't got any of that. It's been pretty, uh... I mean, we have had some rain showers come through, shut us down, like, early at night, like a couple hours early. Like, you know, it's still 10 or 11 o'clock my time, so... Not ideal to stream for you guys. Any for you guys, I like to stream anywhere from 6 till about 10 o'clock at night. Um, 6 is a good time. Anything before that's not bad, but it seems if you start stuff at 6, you get a lot more tuned in at that time than you would at like 8. But, and I do have quite a few of you that watch me at later times, and that's cool. I'm just trying to see, you know, kind of what benefits everyone for the stream as a whole. Um, obviously, I want to get sleep, so... I do what I can for you guys, but I do need to have some sleep, so. If I don't ever get any sleep, then I'll always be tired.
Alright, let's do this one last packing job before I fall asleep here. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I'm just extremely tired, so. But at least a little bit of farm suit would be good for you guys. Which I normally, I mean, farm suit still makes me fall asleep every now and then, but not lately. I think with having ample amounts of sleep and then having, like, actually people to talk to is probably a little bit different than me recording, but... too far back. Uh, if this bunker is almost at 400,000, it might be a million. It could be a 2 million bunker, actually. Well, uh, that's a little much, actually. I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. It's kind of short and sweet. I'm sorry about that. And I just I can't keep myself to stay awake any longer. So, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of silage. Hopefully, we can do more on a live stream. I didn't shut this off, damn it. Uh, I guess we can just tap around quickly, show you guys what else we got going on. Bale trailers doing nothing. Combines, I did. Find some more pallet racking. Clearly, I put this pallet racking in a lot better than the, this first stuff. I thought they were wide enough the bottom for the totes, but they're not. So I need to maybe adjust that. But we got all our shelving put away. You guys be proud of me. Oh, I did. You don't go down that shaft was really steep. I did. I did do some landscaping. And uh, fix that so the trucks coming a little nicer so what we did here is custom money you know they got their a train out so the John Deere farm has taken over the having an a train um, I think I sold their other hoppers no I didn't I still have the one Wilson okay and also freedom modding you guys remember this truck you'll remember it oh yeah Killer's truck. Well, I mean, it was serious mods. It was a bunch of people's truck, and this is the one that was released on our page in 17. So, uh, Freedom Modding's brought it back as an it can haul uh, liquid fertilizer for sprayers, herbicide. Um, you can also get a flat deck. You can get a grain box, a bunch of stuff. But uh, sexy looking truck, anyway. This is our new sprayer setup. This farm has invested in two sprayers. So we have that one there, and where is it? The other one's over here. Because we did buy a crap ton of land. I'll show you guys how much land we bought here. So John Deere Farm just had 38, right? And then 36, 37, and this. They went and bought 109. So that's corn. That is a lot of corn. We're probably going to combine that. But we're going to silage 87 for corn. And I think with that field nine that we're that we're doing for corn and 87, that will be enough for the silage pit. So this can be combined. Uh, they also bought 99, and I guess we bought 100 too. I forgot 100. I think came with down here. I think I was wanting to put a place below this cell point or something. So that's why it, and 100 I think was attached to it. So they have a soybean field, a barley field, and then they also have up here. 
This is canola. So 110. So this is a pretty big field as well. But I figured, you know what? Two sprayers. They're getting the acres. Uh, we'll keep two sprayers uh, happy. So I did buy that tanker. Uh, we're definitely going to need to uh, need some bigger tankers as well. That's kind of what we got going there. We got this A train. This A train will be nice. Um, the John Deere farm does have a set of super bees too. I believe it is in their Kenworth truck. And the Kenworth truck is at the field where the combine was picking up uh, wheat swaths or barley swaths. Do you guys remember what we swathed? I think it was wheat maybe. That yeah, was definitely wheat. Oh, and we do have landing gear on the Macdons now, and they also fold out, and you can tow them with landing gear. So, thanks to Freedom Modding for doing that convert and not leaving that stuff out. So, very uh, good on them for that. And it does have the four ways on the header, but that's about it. It doesn't have the other lights, which is fine. Don't really need it. It seems our fates are joined. So yeah, John, your farm's gonna have a lot of harvesting to do, that is for sure. So here we go, here's uh, the Super Bs here. Uh, still, pickup header's working, it's just picking up the crop really quickly, like it did in 17, but... My way around that without doing what 4MR or Alfalfa did is just having that uh, script for the straw. And then what I would do in 17 is I'd go into the XML and tone that way down so it would make your straw swaths not have a lot in them so then you could combine the field properly, which was fine, worked perfect. But then when you went to bail, you had to go out of the game and switch that XML back. If you didn't change it, when you went to bail, it would take forever to make a bail. So that was the only crappy thing about that. But uh, the John Deere farm did invest in another truck. Um, we are going to be selling a couple trucks. They don't need to have five or six trucks sitting around there. So, uh, we'll definitely be selling some trucks for sure. But that guy's up here. Um, Swather's still working on getting the Swather to do this. Uh, pick up the header. It's having that time to get it working. That's why this is sitting there. Like I said, this pickup header works like a beaut. So you need to UDM it and stuff and do lights. Uh, what else can I show you guys? I think that's pretty well it. John, your farm's gonna be getting a major facelift. You guys already know that. So. Oh, and this is our other custom truck, so. So this is what I did for the pig food. Put it right by the seed plant. I didn't do anything fancy yet. Like, I need to place more fence down. So you pull in up here, and there's all your total. So you put in wheat and barley, Canola, sugar beets, there's a bunch of different stuff you put in there. And then you come around, and you come underneath here, and here's your crop you can still take out if you want that you put in. Or that's how much corn is available right now. It seems our fates are joined. Yeah, you could do uh Pig food, so that's what you, this is what, this is what you'd want, so 42,000. These guys are all just for testing purposes, but your total's there, so that's 42,800 for pig food. Ready when you are. 360 looking truck, you can black everything out too, and I like, I like that, so. This custom guy was hauling grain. Did this feed mill here for like the pig food. This is where my John Deere farm, their grain's gonna go towards their pig food. That way we don't have to use a grind or anything like that. We'll just use that American feed trailer that's out. So it's kind of what's been going on behind the scenes. But obviously I was testing, trying to get this to fill, but I could not get it to fill from this trigger. So I'm gonna have to play around with it. Yeah, 
that's gonna be it guys uh thanks for watching and hopefully we see you soon enjoy the restream tomorrow and uh have a good rest of your uh may long your long weekend and uh yeah look forward to seeing you guys soon <laughs>